What's up, Cyber Heroes? Boyd Clue is here, the Six Figure Tech Career Coach. And in this video, we're gonna talk about something that's important, but not often talked about. And that's the top five reasons why people fail in tech boot camps and what you can do to not be one of those. Let's go. Hey Cyber Heroes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Boyd Clues, internationally recognized cybersecurity expert and six-figure tech career coach, and I help people upgrade their jobs to a six-figure tech career. If you wanna follow me on this journey, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the red bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. All right, guys, coming in at number one is a lack of preparation. So let's understand what a boot camp is. First of all, a boot camp is an intensive, accelerated training course that is geared at helping someone learn a specific skill to transition into tech or learn a new tech skill to enhance their tech career. For the most part, if you don't have the foundations, trying to accelerate something is not going to work. It's like trying to run a marathon without training. If you don't have the right preparation, meaning the fundamentals is gonna be extremely difficult to succeed at most boot camps because they're not teaching the fundamentals. They're sending you right to the advanced accelerated portion, which most people either don't realize or they have a false sense of hope that they can accomplish the goal anyway and it leads to disaster. All right, cyber heroes, coming in number two, unrealistic expectations. Let's be real about it. There are hundreds, if not thousands, maybe even millions of people that enroll in boot camps and believe by nature, since they made the investment to join the boot camp, that they're going to get the result. It's just gonna be magic. Oh, it doesn't work like that, guys. College, universities, boot camps, it doesn't matter what type of educational system it is, it is an input output type of deal. Meaning you're going to get out whatever you put into it. And most people believe just by showing up, watching some videos and going through some exercises that they will actually develop the skills to become experts. But it requires more than that. You actually have to do the work. You actually have to participate in the learning exercises, right? It's important because like what most people don't realize is when you're making these career transitions and trying to learn these new skills, it's not really about learning a new skill to get a job. It's really about shifting your identity. So let's say that you're transitioning into tech, you and you were working maybe in accounting like I did. I had to change my identity from being an AR guy, which is accounts receivable, to being a network technician. It was a completely different shift. The way I looked at things, the way I studied and I saw the world. And most people don't make that shift. They just think because, hey, I invested in this course. Now I'm going to get the results. It does not work like that, guys. You can pull out a recipe right now in your house, get out a recipe for like your mama's favorite chicken or something, right? And you can even go buy all the ingredients. But if you just sit those ingredients on the counter in the kitchen and you never put it together, how do you expect the chicken to get cooked? And this is exactly what many people do in boot camps. They buy the recipe, they just look at it, and then they wonder like, what happened? I didn't get any results. Guys, you got to do the work. Unrealistic expectations. That's number two. Okay, Cyber Heroes, number three. This actually should have been number one, but it's number three, lack of understanding. And when I mean lack of understanding, I'm not talking about the educational content that's being taught in the boot camp. I mean lack of understanding of how the information that you're learning in the boot camp actually applies in the real world to the company that you're going to work for because most boot camps actually focus on theory based things and the real world is nothing like that nothing like that and so it's hard to conceptualize something that you did in a lab that was structured versus what's going on in the real world and one of the examples i think about is just to say that you're at a cybersecurity boot camp and they're talking about configuration standards well what is a configuration standard it's a document that details what system configurations should be installed on a network device, um, 
a Linux system, a Windows system, whatever the system is, as the bootcamp participant, sure enough, I would understand how to write that thing out, but you got to go the extra level and understand what that actually means to the company. So without configuration standards being written and applied to systems, you have inconsistent system configurations that leads to vulnerabilities, which could lead to compromise. And so you have to be able to bridge that gap to what you learned and how to apply it to the business case so that you can actually solve problems and bring value. And most people never make that connection. And that's why the bootcamp doesn't work for them. All right, cyber heroes, number four, time management issues. Remember guys, a bootcamp is an accelerated learning experience which means it's gonna be a lot of details in a relatively short amount of time. But if you are not allocating the proper time to actually learn and digest the information, then the bootcamp experience is not going to be one that you're gonna like and remember. And what you should do is actually allocate specific time that you can dedicate to study. So if that means that you can watch Netflix on the weekend, then that's what you do while you're in the boot camp. That means that you can't hang out with your friends, then that's what you do while you're in the boot camp. It is a short term sacrifice for a long term gain, but you have to put yourself in position and develop the study habits and give yourself time to learn the material so that you can actually apply it so that you can get the job. OK, number five and this one right here is critical. You know what that is? You don't follow the process. Gosh, my goodness. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I don't understand how people can make the investments because boot camps are not cheap. Most of them are not cheap by any means. How can you make the investment in a boot camp? They give you a proven strategy and then you decide to do what you want to do instead of following the, fr the proven framework. It makes zero sense to me, guys. You got to think about it like this. I'm about to take it back to the kitchen. If I give you a recipe to produce Boyd's famous chocolate chip cookies and you decide to substitute sugar for salt, then how do you expect to produce Boyd's famous chocolate chip cookies? You are not. You're not. You're going to produce a salty, disgusting mess. And then you're going to be salty because it didn't work out. That is what happens with most people in boot camps. They see something that maybe doesn't make sense to them or they feel like they can do it better. So then they completely go away from the standard plan. Don't do that, guys. You're paying people to give you their expert advice on what you should do to take your career to the next level. So just follow the process. My thing in the way I look at it is if I follow a standard process that someone gave me and I did everything that they said and didn't work out, I can live with that. I can go to that person and say, hey, this thing didn't work like that. Can you help me out? But if I didn't follow the process, I have no leg to stand on to go complain. So it's important that you follow the process. Most people don't. Don't be like them. Hey, cyber heroes. I hope you're getting some massive value from this video. Great time to like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to give you some some personal thoughts about boot camps, in my opinion, depending on your skill set and what you are attempting to do. Boot camps could be good or bad for you for your career. I've experienced boot camps in my career where I had to go certify for specific things because company requirements. Right now, keep in mind, the company paid for the boot camp was not me. I had to go do it. I personally don't like the way most boot camps are run. And that's why I started the Baxter Clues Trading Academy. We offer an online training program that has transformed the lives of more than 500 people, helping them go from zero to six figure cyber hero. And we've been doing this since 2019. And our experience is a little bit different. Instead of a 16 week course, what we do is we provide you a 12 month immersive learning experience with a success advisor, with an internship and mentorship from yours truly so that you get the support and not only the support, but a community of peers going through the same process as you and ones that are winning so that you see that the process works. You can get your questions answered and you can feel like you belong because we don't want to just 
send somebody to a course and tell them good luck, we want to walk you through the process. So if you're looking for the skills to become a cybersecurity specialist without a college degree, without coding, without hacking, or needing anything like that, I invite you to apply to join the Baxter Clues Training Academy. You can go to boydcluers.com forward slash GRC or click the link in the description to check out our case studies of how we've helped hundreds of people and then apply. I would love to mentor you. I would love to have you right here on the podcast talking about your success story. And guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.